Good afternoon. My name is Justin. I'm with the Bossier City Fire Department, Bossier City, Louisiana. I'm one of the mechanics. Uh, we're up here at Pierce doing a final inspection on this new truck that we got. We're just going to kind of go over some of the basics today. Um, it's a Pierce Enforcer, 107 foot aerial. Uh, this will be the second one that we've purchased. Um, it's got a 510 horse engine in it, a 2000 GPM pump. Uh, we're going to start with here in the cab. We've got the driver's compartment here. He's got everything he needs within arm's reach, everything from lights, all of his warning devices, um, all of his pump engagement, his sirens, anything the driver may need to, to utilize to operate this truck efficiently. Um, we're going to step back here. Back here, we've got uh, where our firemen ride. So we've got two SCBA seats. Uh, that's where they'll ride if they're going to a fire. They'll have their packs. They'll be able to get bunkered out and get in the truck uh, and get their pack on. They'll be ready to go. Back here, we've got a couple jump seats that extra personnel can ride in, or if they don't want to ride in the SCBA seat, they can ride back there. Here, we've got the pump operators panel. Uh, this truck has 500 gallons of water on board. It has 20 gallons of foam with an onboard foam system. Uh, up here we have the cross lays. We have uh, two, two here and we have one here for two and a half inch. All of these cross lays are capable of flowing foam. Um, all we have here is just basically our handles to open and close our valves as needed. Um, intakes foam intake. Uh, here in this compartment, this is where the pump operator will have access to all of his uh, appliances that he may need, any extra nozzles, uh, any fittings that he may need to get water. Here is where we generally mount any tools they may need, such as halligans, uh, pike poles, pry bars, etc. Back here is kind of the catch-all compartment. We'll put, here you'll see all the tools that we get when we buy the truck. They come with special tools that may be needed. Um, fire extinguisher, DOT, triangles and whatnot. Uh, wouldn't normally carry like our water cooler, maybe some oil dry, things like that back here. Back here you'll see we've got a compartment that has a complement of ladders in it. Up here we have our hose beds where we'll carry our five inch and our three inch supply lines. Um, here we have another ladder and all of our, we carry New York hooks on the rear of the truck. Back here is just a kind of another catch all compartment. We'll put ventilation fans and uh, maybe a dry extinguisher back here. This compartment here will carry, we put our high rise hose packs up here. Uh, we'll carry a chainsaw, our hydrant bag. Uh, we'll have an unmanned monitor that we put in this compartment. Here, we'll also put more tools such as halligans, pry bars, hammers, uh, bolt cutters, anything you may need to get access to somewhere. This compartment will carry um, typically tarps, uh, salvage covers, things like that in here. Uh, there'll be an EMS bag in here also, because uh, all of our trucks run EMS with our ambulances. So if the guys get on scene before the ambulance, they'll have their supplies. Over here, we've got another SCBA seat and a jump seat. And also this cabinet here, we'll carry some more EMS supplies in here. Up here, you'll see, uh, this is where the captain will sit. He's got him an SCBA seat also. Um, he's got access to the siren. Uh, and the air horns so he can help the driver out. Um, yeah. Up here, we have a, another, sec another spot for a line. Uh, we can hook our bumper line up here. It also has capability of flowing foam. Uh, this truck has a Wheeling light package on it. We typically run Wheeling on everything we have. Of course, a 107 foot ladder 
we've normally ran 77 foot, uh, but we decided to go with the 107. It's actually a lighter chassis um, and we have more reach. So it's a little more advantageous for us. That's pretty much gonna be it. We can't wait to get this truck back home to serve the citizens of Bossier City.